Hi friends and welcome back to German Engineering today with the Stone Rhino in a full-on AC5 configuration that will allow you to deal great damage at good distances and really really send home a message. Just listen to the satisfying sound of the barrage. Ah, it's beautiful. I got two really nice matches coming up for you so make sure to watch both of them. Enjoy! PPC, yep. Target spotted. I wonder how much damage we're doing at this range. Keep level critical. I don't think that much. Oh well. Enough apparently. What did I just get hit with? Uh, hello, sir. I hit you straight. Oh, here. Mark targets Fanaso's sniper in the hillside. Uh, Atlas? Hey, nuts. I mean, I'll take it. Sorry. Oh, we're getting it learned here. Gonna get Lerm by the Trash Panda. Yep, the video right now looks like three guys engaging and the rest looking on. Come on, guys. Enemy Atlas Fox.5, open both side trusses. Got a Nova Cat next to him. ATMs, I think. Target spotted. Come on, Mech, move it. Watch guys, they're just gonna trade positions with you. Just stay where you currently are, otherwise they're just gonna rotate over to Echo 5. Hunchback Echo 6. Mm, I think I'm gonna stay with the Fafnir. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Two targets set to six. Half a Marauder 2 and the Hunchback. Okay, maybe I have to kill him myself then. Goodbye. No run. Auto cannon ammo at twenty five percent. Hang on, I need to be careful here. Can't use all my ammo for this guy. Dude, can you kill him, please? No. All right. There we go. That was a bad shot on my part. Oh, that's the hunchback again. I'm doing rotato potato. Unspecked on the five. Target spotted. Oop. Target spotted. Hey. 
It's 31 rounds left. <laughs> Got the leg. Got all his legs. Anybody shoot that uh, Thanatos? Ah, there he is. Nice, so. oh, 11 golf sticks. I need more ammo? Yes, I agree. Chat says I need more ammo. I 100% wholeheartedly agree. This mech is underweaponized. Well, touch him. We're still missing one dude Target though. Destroyed. Sad face. <laughs> GG. Oh! Yeah. <sighs> I got almost all my ammo out, so that's good. Right? Right? Right! 3 kills, 2 solo kills, 4 KMDD, 1500 damage done, 400 taken, 10 components destroyed, and a UV kill. Yep. 829 match score. Taka, 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 taka. GG. Don't you dare get all trekkie with me. WV? What the was that? That's a bird flying around. That weirded me out. Ah, oh, he's shooting at someone. If only I would see anything. Perfect, well, I'm a craft. Yeah, we're really slow, buddy. Ping if you need us. New target acquired. Fancy shit. Where? Echo coming out of the tunnel, going back in the tunnel. I just hit that shot, unzoomed on him. Yeah, let's go. Yep, there's one head. I don't think that's what he meant by head count, but okay. Okay. Watch that box seven line, guys. That's where the target acquired. Yeah. Hey, it's a street colossus. Uh oh. Is that thing? Assault acquired left side, be careful. Target destroyed. You did. Pushing on the supernova at Echo 8. Mm hmm. Target acquired. Target acquired. Affirmative. Well, it would be a shame if something happened to his blue lasers. Well, this is not going to be a high damage game if this continues. <laughs> Target spotted. Ow. Shadow Cat, uh, Fox 8. I think I hit his leg off. Nah, it was his, it was his armor. Shadow Cat's leg. Is he blind? 
Legged him. Tagged him and bagged him. This is shit I got in the basement. Oh, hello. Corsair on the bridge, Echo 6. Can we push him? There's a dire wolf over here. Target spotted! Be careful, boys. There's pretty much a fresh dire wolf over in that spot safe region. New target acquired. Target spotted! Oh, no, this guy. Why are you fresh, dude? Where's my freaking Fafnir? Oh, he ran away. Of course he ran away. Oh well. Brave Sir Robin ran away. That's sad, uh, we could have done 200 damage more or so. Now oh, you see he's going ham. Not a bad wall up build. He needs to increase his kill speed or he's gonna die to him. Ah no, okay, here we go. Again. Again. Oh, Shadowcat is listing lazily to the right. Not a horrible match, you got 3 candidates of killing blow and 1040 done, plus 600 taken. And 7 components. GG. Disconnected slash not inactive Nightstar, okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. When I trust those matches satisfied your Daka addiction, guys. Here is the build on screen. As you can see, it is very simple. The Stone Rider 4 with six AC5s. We've got a TC Mark 1 for that extra 5% projectile speed. We've got two jump jets, and we just fill the rest of the mech up with ammo. There is a way to get even more ammo if you drop a jump jet, if you drop the targeting computer and maybe drop down the engine quite a bit. You can actually sort uh, this out without endo steel armor and you can put in more ammo, but um, I will leave that up to you. If you find this is not enough armor for you on the mech, specifically the legs, go ahead. Uh, I will probably scrap the targeting computer before I scrapped uh, any ton of ammo here and I will just use that one extra ton to get the arms a little bit higher and the legs a little bit higher. Now, what makes this mech so interesting is, of course, the quirk list right here. And if you look at the firepower side of the quirks, we see that we get 7.5% ballistics heat, another 5% flat heat, and 15% velocity plus some extra armor. So we are kept quite cool with 12.5% less heat. And our projectiles are 15% faster. So with the skill tree together, we get some really nice speeds of about almost 2,000 projectile speed and 2,000 projectile speed. That is right up there in uh, accelerated ERPPC territory. In fact, this thing shoots as fast as an ERPPC projector, which is really, really nice to have. Now then, what's important about this mech? Weapon groups, guys. Very important because convergence is a bitch on this one, as you've seen from the videos. Um... I recommend you set this up with two firing groups at least. Firing group one is going to shoot the left side of your mech. 
and firing group 2 is gonna shoot the right side of your mech. The other alternative is to use three firing groups, one, two, and three. Um, that could also work. Uh, that way, if you just depress them slightly apart from each other, click, 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 you get all the three shots out, but they're all gonna be individual, which means that they will all individually use the, um, the aim point and therefore the convergence of just the two weapons that are right next to each other. So in this case, you will have a much better accuracy, but you will have to be on target a lot better. So keep that in mind. And of course, you can use the arms to shoot down your UVs at about 500, 600, 700 meters range, no problem. Beyond that, you will experience bullet drop. It gets progressively harder to shoot down the UVs, but uh, don't let that deter you. Take a shot if you, if you get it. Very nice. Uh, also, keep in mind to have a special group set up just for the torso mounted weapons, because as you can see, these are super high up. Anything you can see, you can shoot with those. So these are really, really nice to shoot at uh, targets if you don't want to go and peek too much over a ridge. So keep that in mind as well. Throughout this build, as I said, guys, make sure to use at least two weapon groups right here. Convergence is a huge problem, especially if you try to shoot moving light max on this thing. Um, the weapons are trying to converge at a point that is trying to get this weapon up here, this weapon group, together with this and this. Basically a triangle, as wide as possible, trying to hit something that's moving left to right or right to left. Uh, it's... It's not a fun experience, trust me. So make sure to shoot them at least uh, one-sided. That way you will get much better convergence and therefore you will, that means it will, you will hit your target, right? So keep that in mind. You have been warned. Other than that, try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. I don't know, there's something about six AC5 builds that I really enjoy, for example, on the Fafnir, on the Annihilator, or now on the Stone Rhino. I'm sure you enjoy that as well. What you also might enjoy, of course, is becoming a patron of the channel and supporting the channel. Thank you so much to everybody who is already supporting. If you would like to become a supporter as well, check out the various links in the video description. Hit the super thanks button right here on YouTube or check out the merch store and grab yourself something nice. Thank you.